Hello YouTube. Uh, apparently 139th time is a charm. This is my Halloween Haunt controller using the Vixen Light controller. You can see my uh, PC screen. I'm running a uh, Dell Opterex 170 bought at a yard sale with a couple of uh, with a salvage drive and, a, and and Windows XP. That is the Olsen 595 which actually runs the um, solid state relays running to props and light control. This is a USB hub with a USB sound card and the thumb drive that has Vixen on it so I can take it to work and work on it during my lunchtime. The four amplifiers for the prop, this one will be for the singing pumpkins, uh, this is for the house music, this is for the ghost, and this is for the coffin guy. Now those three are being run by those three sound cards on that hub. Uh, three sound cards per hub is about all you can do, so had to go to another hub. Let's get our Mr. Mouse involved here, and we will now click and explore, and F. We will scroll down to our Vixen program right here, and Vixen. And there's the startup screen. It's indicating that it's starting triggers and all sorts of stuff. And there we are. The first sequence I will pull up is the background sequence. This plays at the corners of the house and it also has lightning crash and spooky music and it uses the uh, largest amp, about 180 watts. I don't use all of that, it just it's the biggest one. <clears throat> now we'll pull up the triggers. These are controlled by a web page sending information to it and this first one is being controlled by a uppercase A or code 65. This one, uh, code B, uh, up, uh, and uppercase B, code 66. Uh, and we will start all these, and they are green. And we will start, come to here, and we will start this. This also has what's called sequence preview. This gives me a visual indication of what's going on. At the corners of my property, I have red lights, green lights, strobe, and white lights. The strobe and the white lights are for lightning simulation, and the red and green is just to put oddball colors. This next block is for the coffin, and it shows the status of the light inside the coffin, the fog machine, the lid, and the skeleton. Uh, the zone left and right I haven't filled out yet. So let us go back over to our controlling system, and same wallpaper. Take a while, guess who likes Halloween? Let us start a web page and we will go to, there we go, here's Mass Effects. Each of these buttons uh, in this row control the coffin. Uh, the first one is left turn, I should have taken the left turn at Albuquerque. Does this make me look fat? I asked for a non-smoking coffin. Saturday Night Fever, I caught it and died from it. And I'm skin and bones, I lost my skin. This is the buttons for the ghost. I only have three sayings for him. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Uh, all by myself. And I smell trick-or-treaters. These little chevrons indicate which sequence is being played next. This button controls the fog and how long. Uh, first button is one minute. Second button is two minutes. Third button is three minutes. Fourth button, four minutes. And the fifth button is 11 minutes. No, five minutes. There we go. Yeah. Mass Effects column. I have two uh, additional items that I have added on in DMX and the pumpkins. And this one is um, Jayhawks, I put a spell on you. And this one is, uh, this is Halloween and the pumpkin sing. This is Mass Effect. This button I use most of the time. When I trigger it, it triggers a coffin, a ghost, and a fog at the same time. So all I have to do is push one button. Now let's see the indicators on Vixen when I hit a coffin guy. Hey, you can see the light, the fog, the lid. I should have taken the left turn to double kick. And it's all off. Now the ghost has a status bar on there. Pay no attention and to this that is him. The and curtain. it's just him speaking. Uh, the fog has an indicator right here. So I can tell what's going on pretty much all the time by just looking at this screen. 
I can also see on the interface, but the uh, lights really don't kind of you know, tell you everything that's going on. They just show which ones are being used. Now, if I click Mass Effects, I will get a coffin, I don't need him. I can talk a ghost, and they're all working on that. And then when everything's done, they all go out. Now, those two that are on are the house lights, uh, left and right corners. And, and that is pretty much it. Now we can come back over here. We'll see that the chevrons move down. I have clicked. I clicked the Mass Effects button and they've moved to the next one in sequence. So if I click Mass Effects again, I smell scroll over here, and they smell delicious. <laughs> I have fog for a minute, I have the ghost saying something, and the coffin guy speaking. This allows me to just hand at the door and hold candy. And then the house sequence on adjustable preview plays all night long. I've looped it in the Vixen, so it just keeps on running. And that is it. Thank you very much.